I seen recently that there was somebody who asked about the laws in spirituality. And there's many laws that are kind of hidden from the public. There are also many laws that people think they understand, but maybe they have a misconception or misinterpretation of it. And that's why in this video, I want to break down for you the seven hidden laws in spirituality that will help you manifest your dreams, your goals, your desires, and help you become more spiritually awakened and more conscious to be able to navigate through life in a more peaceful and blissful way. We're going to break it down in this video, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya. This is Sri Akashana here. And in this video, I want to break down for you seven spiritual laws that you may not be aware of. And those that you have heard of, you may not have the same understanding or the level of consciousness of understanding of it. So you may be using it in the wrong way. So we're going to start off with law number one. Law number one is the law of karma. A lot of the time people look at karma as in, if I do good, then I should have a good life, right? Karma is not as simple as that. Karma is about action, reaction. Karma is about cause and effect. Karma is also about memory. Karma is all collected. All the memories of every thought, every feeling and every action is all noted down and the universe responds to all of those karmic values. What does it mean? Karma doesn't mean just bad karma and good karma. Karma also means specific karma. Even the way we look, the way we are, has been passed on through generations. This is generational karma. And we can actually see these things. Even from looking at your face right now, you will probably have a nose, a mouth, some facial uh, expressions that maybe your great, great, great ancestors may have had. That is also karma. It's all collected. And so our goal with karma is not so much to look back and say, oh, if I had past karma, uh, past bad or negative karma, what should I do with my life now? Instead, it's more to say, if we've built up some negative karma in the past life before, or even in this lifetime before, our goal should not just be in looking back and resolving the issues in the past. Instead, we understand we may be on a minus point right now and the karmic points may be slightly lower, but right now our main focus should be living in every moment, practicing love, compassion, and helping people, contributing beyond yourself. Because the more you put out that is positivity, you will also bring that point system up, which will become your good karma. The second thing that a lot of people don't really understand is the law of capacity. This is what my master always refers to as building your container, building your vessel. A lot of the time we ask the universe or we ask God for so many different things. I want to manifest more money. I want to manifest love. And we ask for these and we pray for these, yet at the same time, if our vessel is not equipped and it's not ready and it doesn't have the capacity to take on this new energy, then we have a problem. The universe cannot deliver. So what we need to look at is two main things. The first thing is looking at our capacity. Are there certain things that in our life, energetically, we need to offer that cutting the cord or closure to? By emptying the cup, right? There's a saying that says, when your cup is full, stop pouring. When you finally learn to empty that cup, you offer that closure, you clear your space, then you clear space for new things to manifest into your life. The second thing we need to pay attention to when it comes to the law of capacity is, how do we increase our capacity? How do we become a stronger vessel where we can manage more energy at one time, more things happening at one time? 
are we currently being stressed and frustrated for the small things we have and yet at the same time we're asking for more and we can do that by training our mindset we can do that by training through our body our body our mind our spirit connection our spiritual powers and our spiritual capacity will also increase the third thing that i got down is the law of duality many people on the journey of spiritual consciousness and spiritual awakening especially at the beginning when they encounter these positive energies they're so happy they think to themselves why did i know this not know this before they want to share it with the world and they want to change the world that's wonderful beautiful intentions and they get very very hung up over this idea of creating world peace wouldn't it be so nice if the whole world was positivity and they get very frustrated when they see negativity they get very frustrated or upset when they see suffering that isn't of the highest level of consciousness because of the highest level of consciousness we will understand actually there is no up if there is no down there is no happiness if there is no sadness this is the world of duality we live in the world of polarity so it will never become a case and it cannot become a case where everything will become positivity and everybody's happy because then there will be no idea of happiness and so this will always happen but when people come to that first understanding and consciousness that oh it's always going to be negative and positive well that's bad and some people get upset by that idea but you need to understand by getting upset by any idea you cannot help anybody you need to always just ask yourself the question which energies are you working for which energies are you surrendered to which energies are you a part of existence requires both you just got to choose positivity and you got to choose love that is who you are the purpose of you being here is to offset the negativity is to help those in need is to give the other dimension to life so always remember who you are and what you represent it doesn't matter what other people are doing but if you are affected by those that are affected you do not have the power to help them we always say love starts from self love make yourself strong have that awareness come to acceptance that is what it is but i will still do my best to give as much positivity as much love and compassion to the world then moving on to law number 4 the law of giving the law of giving is a very interesting one because some people they say i know some people who are very very giving they always helping people but why is it their life is so so miserable and so unhappy and so uh, uh poor or so or going through so many struggles we need to understand how the law of giving actually works it's not just giving and receiving it's not just sowing and reaping it's what you sow you shall reap right you can't say i give out a lot of love why am i not wealthy at the same time you can't say i put out so much money why do i not have a lot of love whatever seed you sow whatever action you take with what vibration that it's aligned to is the reward you reap so my question to you is whether you're wanting to manifest more love in your life are you giving unconditional love out there are you feeling love even when you're by yourself my question is if you're wanting to manifest more wealth in your life are you also allowing your currency your money to flow out as much as you're only wanting to receive because there has to be that exchange of energy outgoing to incoming what you put out you shall get back then moving on to the next law which is the fifth law the law of receiving obviously it's giving and receiving i got a question for you are you somebody who classes yourself as a good giver but not such a good receiver what i mean is is there ever a time where some people they try to help you and you say no 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 it's okay i'll sort it out myself do you sometimes act that way you're too proud to receive because if you block that source that is incoming that energy that is incoming 
then your cup will never fill up so you will never have more to be able to give we need to understand that receiving is actually a form of giving it allows other people to satisfy their need for contribution as much as you do with yours as it also allows you to fill your cup so you have more to pour out to the world so when opportunities come your way and people try to help you you should just be grateful and say thank you and open arms receive it say thank you thank you thank you moving on to the sixth law is the law of abundance understand that everything you have ever wanted understand that everything you've ever dreamt of is already in existence and it's there and there's a collective abundant library that we all have access to and you can draw from that universal account at any time and there's plenty more when you win nobody else loses when other people win you also don't lose with every single thing you do start approaching it with that abundance mindset that abundance mentality there's plenty plenty more to go around if you focus on that what you focus on expands you will tap into that collective universal abundant library moving on to the final and seventh law is the law of oneness the law of unity all energies are all intertwined and interconnected you are me i am you and we only attract one another or see one another when there is laws of resonance that are happening in oneness so sometimes when you see something that is amazing in front of you something that is beautiful in front of you something that is talented in front of you whatever you see in front of you actually recognize that is within you that's why you see it because life is purely a reflection of who you are everything is oneness when we understand the law of oneness you probably won't focus too much anymore on law of attraction because you won't need to always try to attract things in your life you just become one you just align your energies your thoughts your feelings your actions towards the thing that you want when you do that you will see the universe will naturally reflect and show exactly what you are you are one meaning you are one with your manifestations you are one with your wildest dreams and goals meaning all of your manifestations and your wildest dreams they are all already done and they're waiting for you to reclaim your throne to reclaim what is already yours you are worthy you are strong you are infinite you are powerful you are special you are beautiful you are loved because you are everything inclusive of every single word that you've heard on this video if you resonate with anything that i've said through this video or it's motivated you give you some inspiration or it's helped expand your consciousness just a little bit please do hit the thumbs up allow this message to go out to more people around the world also comment below let us know where you guys have tuned in from that's always nice to know and finally if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it that's a little bell sign by the way because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet but for now guys we're signing out.